Hi, I'm Carmeny Jogo, and you're watching BV365. Welcome to HuffPost Black Voices. I'm Terry Johnson, and this is BV365, presented by Honda. BV365 is a weekly entertainment news show that provides coverage on black entertainment. On this week's show, we're on the red carpet for the Alex Cross movie premiere and the Tyra Banks Flossom Ball. Come on now, you can do better than that. In this action-packed crime thriller, Tyler Perry stars as a homicide detective who is pushed to the limits as he battles a serial killer played by Matthew Fox who had to undergo some intense training to get ready for the role. I'm trying to figure out why he does what he does and uh, <laughs> That, that part was um, both fascinating to me and that's what I like about being an actor is trying to figure that stuff out. But this one was a little special and that it's hard to relate to, uh, obviously. I'm not, yeah, so that was tricky but fun. The film wasn't completely dark and violent due to the likes of Carmen Ijogo and Yara Shahi. My character kind of brings the light and, and joy into the, into the world of Alex Cross. Uh, for the time that I'm in the movie. So I really represent family, and that, while it's around, is a really joyous thing in the movie. I feel confident, especially if I was confident when I was actually in the scene, because I remember those moments, and I do feel confident. There are times where I'm like, ooh, did I really do that? But most of the time, I feel pretty confident. Initially portrayed by Morgan Freeman, for this reboot, Idris Elba had first been considered to take over as Alex Cross before the role went to Tyler Perry, who decided to just focus on acting. While he is usually known for his comedic films, we asked Mr. Perry if he ever sees himself doing more within the action thriller genre. That's James Patterson's avenue he's got to call. I know my lane. He's brilliant at it, so no, you won't see that from me. Although Alex Cross is the lowest grossing opening for a film starring Tyler Perry, there are still plans to move forward with the sequel, Double Cross, in which Perry is attached to star. I'm going to enjoy this. Alex Cross is in theaters now. What do you get when you combine a menu curated by celebrity chef Marcus Samuelson, a performance by Drake, and models and celebrities galore? The Tyra Banks Flossom Ball, and it was fierce, fearless, and flossom. The Flossom Ball is a star-studded event that benefits her T-Zone Foundation, which is based at the Lower East Side Girls Club in New York City. The theme, your flaws make you awesome. I have to support Tyra, you know, when Tyra calls, I come, you know, like she's, you know, we've been following Tyra for a long time and I just think it's amazing to see her evolve and now being part of this uh, charity, this is her first event, so when she asked me if I could curate the food, I said, right, right, of course, come down and help you out. It is so dear, personally, to me, in my heart. I also come from a childhood and younger, my younger years were incredibly traumatic with abuse, physical, mental, sexual, so when you have no shelter to get away from that, it can eat you alive. And to empower women like this is a beautiful thing because women are queens and they need to feel that way. Well, because I think Tyra is doing an amazing thing. She's giving a message to young women that your flaws are what make you awesome. It's not about just tolerating your flaws or covering up your flaws. It's about celebrating your flaws because that really is the thing that makes you an individual and that we should celebrate what makes us different. When I heard Flossom, I was like, oh, I wish I thought of that. That's brilliant. She's amazing. She's been my mentor since day one, and um, I will always support her because she's just beautiful on the inside and out. The Victoria's Secret Angel also had some time to put down her wings and be a part of an exciting project. Just in LA and I launched my, my uh, an Xbox game that I'm in with Chris Evans and LMFAO, which was quite exciting for me. Actress Rosario Dawson goes in depth about what Blossom means to her. Blossom means embracing everything awesome and wonderful about who you are. You know, all the things that I was made fun of as a child, suddenly just being like, you know what, this is me. Olympian Allison Felix came out to show her support and to tell us what she's been up to since the London Olympics. Getting out there on causes that I'm really interested in, um, fighting physical inactivity is something that's really important to me, um, being at different events, and um, we have, I'm about to go back to training, so, you know, we have world championships next year, and our cycle just keeps going, so just gearing up for all that stuff. 
Tyra Banks has always been very focused, which is the reason why she's so successful. But she does know how to have fun in her own way. Okay, I am not the girl that like goes to the club and parties. Like I, when I was in uh, my business school program, my friends called me Mama because they knew Mama was going home while they went to party. Um, but so I'm like, child, I like to go to the spa. Ooh. You know, I like to eat. Like I will eat, eat, eat. I will go after work and like throw down on a slab of barbecued ribs. I like to drive upstate and go antiquing. Yeah, I'm like old. I'm like older than my years, and I've always been like this. The star-studded event held at Capital in Lower Manhattan was truly flossom and for a great cause. Until next time, I'm Terry Johnson and this is BB365, your voice in black entertainment. On next week's episode, we'll show you why black girls rock. <laughs>